in the meantime I discovered one mistake here I will fix that now so this one should go all the way down and this one in this case also command shift left bracket to send it down here I'll add a shadow okay now to see things more clearly we should add a solid color above our background layer set this color to light shade of gray now you can see more clearly here we are missing a shadow also okay the next step to add this 3d look is to uh, blur uh, blur pills that are very close to us and very far from us this will simulate the thin depth of field effect in photography we will start with this pill here and command click this pill to select the layer in the layers palette and go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and I will blur this pill a lot because it's very very close by five pixels and hit enter or OK and you should ask yourself is there another pill that should be blurred exactly by five pixels I don't think so right now so let's go to another one this one go to filter blur Gaussian blur and this one is closer to the logo than this one so should be blurred less go for four pixels is enough okay and again no pill which is that big now I will select this one filter blur Gaussian blur and blur it by three pixels I guess or maybe even less two and a half hit OK this one should also be blurred now if we want to blur something the same way we did with the previous object so this one I will blur by 2.5 pixels the same um, as this one you can just click command F or control F and it will bring up the last applied filter dialog box with the same settings 2.5 and hit OK uh, okay maybe this one I will blur also command F by 2.5 and okay now I will also blur by 2.5 those pills that are very far from the uh, viewer and behind the logo in the 3d space so with this pill selected I'll go command F this is also a long and boring process so I'll take you through it in fast forward the general idea is to blur pills that are close to you and far from you a lot pills that are closer to the logo surface in 3d space are blurred less and less and pills that are in the same surface lying in the same surface in 3d space as the logo those pills are sharp
Okay, with the with this blur, it looks really good like floating in 3D and photographed with thin depth of field. Um, to exaggerate this look even more I will duplicate this pill with Alt. I will drag it here, scale it up and add let's say here, rotate it and blur it more than it is right now by 5 pixels maybe scale down just a little bit yeah and maybe one more pill like that this one looks good so I'll drag it with alt scale it up place it and blur it by 5 this way the scene looks even more dynamic Oh, here we have the bug. I see this shadow layer isn't clipped, so Command Alt G again. Okay. Now it's time for some textures. For texturing, I downloaded this beautiful image, texture image, at Flickr from user Caleb Kimbrough who kindly provided us this beautiful image under um, CC license so you can download it at full size and use for your for your own personal projects uh, I have this image here in Photoshop so first I'm going to desaturate it by uh, hitting shift command U or shift control U on PC now let's duplicate this layer into our project file okay there we have it and first we need to scale down this texture file because it's much bigger than our resolution okay now change the blending mode to multiply and set the opacity of the layer to 30 and I would like to play with tones of this texture so I'll bring up the levels layer and clip this layer so it affects only uh, the texture you can alt click between these layers to do that and now let's bring up bring out the contrast of this texture Okay, that looks cool. Okay. That looks cool. Now I will add a vignette, which means I will just darken the edges here, corners of, of the artwork. Um, I created a new layer, let's name it Vignette. And with a big brush and a soft brush, hardness set to 0, and with black color, opacity set to 10. Let's paint at the corners let's darken those corners and edges a little bit and corners even more and let's move our vignette at the top of uh, the layer stack so it affects pills also okay now let's change opacity to 5 and paint some black maybe not on top maybe for this I will create another layer under pills and name it just darkening and with big black brush I will paint on this texture 
some blacks to make it irregular and we can change blending modes of both these layers to multiply now let's create another layer and name it lighten and with same brush but white and opacity set to 5 you can just paint some white in the logo area to make it pop out this will focus the viewers eye at the logo you can see that without those two layers and with those two layers that's the difference and vignette is adding some dramatic look to this. This is without our lightning layers and this is with it with those layers. So it looks much better. Now let's add a great big shadow uh, on the texture layer casted by all the pills and the logo together. So select three groups and duplicate those and Command E or Control E on PC to merge them together. A lot of vector objects, so this will take some time. Okay, now we have the copy of those three groups on a separate layer. So let's uh, add color overlay effect and fill it with black hit OK and let's blur this by adding Gaussian blur let's blur it a lot I would say by at least 15 I guess yep okay now take this layer down above lighten and darkening layers and change opacity to to and position this layer maybe here 